Anxiety is a normal part of childhood, and every child goes through phases, like preparing for a big test or getting ready to perform in a sport. This anxiety is usually temporary and harmless. Anxiety um, is a normal phenomenon. It's something that is uh, that 99% you know of the uh, general population you know experiences anxiety, and in fact um, you know it's it's a necessary phenomenon. It's it's uh, protective if there's danger. Um, it can help uh, with performance if it's not in excess. But for about one in eight children, excessive anxiety is a serious disorder that puts them at higher risk to perform poorly in school, miss out on important social experiences, and engage in substance abuse. The anxiety disorders as a group um, uh, are, were ranked number one in terms of how common and how prevalent they are, uh, depression uh, and mood disorders following in a close second. Dr. Pullen says signs of anxiety include temper tantrums, your child making excuses to get out of doing necessary things, irritability, and general out-of-the-ordinary behavior. What we're looking for is an excess, you know, is an extreme uh, departure from what the child's normal mood seems to be, lasting for longer than two weeks, but sometimes uh, months or even uh, a year if it's going untreated. Children with depression may have changes in sleep patterns, eating habits, sadness, or irritability and anger. For all of these disorders, talk therapy with kids and their families is the first step in treatment. Medications may also be used to manage symptoms to help children lead a quality life. I'm Kevin Ryan reporting for St. Luke's Health System.